Well, what's up, you guys? Void here coming back at you all with another Commander Secrets video. As you can see, this was a video that I pulled off to some of my patrons. If you're curious about that and you want to support the channel, that is a pretty cool way to do it. The link to my Patreon will be in the description box below. But as you can see here, Isochron Scepter was the most popular option that they voted on, and we're going to talk about that card today. If you're unfamiliar, Isochron Scepter is a two mana artifact. When it enters the battlefield, it imprints a card, so you get to exile an instant card with converted mana cost two or less from your hand. It has an activated ability of two mana and it taps. You may copy the exiled card. If you do, you may cast the copy without paying its mana cost, which I think is pretty fair. It is a CMC two or less card that you are casting, so paying two mana and tapping it should probably mean that it's going to be for free. Now, there are a bunch of ways that you can fool around with this. Now, this is actually going to be more popular in cube, where you see a lot of limited value cards and a lot of the cards that you're going to see here are going to be way more powerful 1v1 than in commander but this card is still a load of fun to play with in commander even something as simple as a counter spell or a swords to plowshares putting one of those on here and always threatening either a counter spell every single turn or swords to plowshares every single turn anything that can remove creatures i think is pretty sweet but i don't make this series for the most obvious answers there are definitely a lot more fun things that you can do with isochron scepter than that though we of course have the charms now all of the charms I think are pretty sweet some are a little bit better than others but Boros charm is just amazing because you can give all your permanents indestructible until end of turn I mean that's a ton of fun making it to where your opponents have to find some sort of exiling removal to deal with your problems I think is very powerful and even beyond that some of the most obvious things to put on an Isochron Scepter is going to be fog similar fog effects anything that's going to make it to where your opponents can't really do anything to you as far as their creatures go I think is pretty amazing now we move on to combo time. There is a pretty sweet combo, including Isochron Scepter, and this is one of those combos that I believe you can go off and win with on turn one, especially if you have certain commanders. If you can win with infinite mana, then you're likely going to win with this combo. If you have a mana crypt, and if you have either a soul ring or a mana vault, you have Isochron Scepter, obviously, and then you have the card Dramatic Reversal, and one sort of blue source, then you could technically find a way to get infinite blue mana, or just infinite mana in general depending on what cards you're playing with again your deck may be a little bit different but this should give you infinite mana because dramatic reversal is going to untap your isochron scepter as well as your other mana rocks and every time you keep playing it on the isochron scepter you're just going to keep on tapping them you're going to be floating way more than just two mana that's needed to pay the activation cost so that should give you infinite mana super easy to do that turn one and then if you have a commander such as azami lady of scrolls which untapping her over and over again is going to allow you to draw a whole bunch of cards cards and deck yourself out play laboratory maniac and then win or if you have any sort of commander that's going to allow you to win with infinite mana such as a tassiger or a thrasios or anything like that to where once you do have the infinite mana you pretty much have the win and turn one wins in commander aren't very common but they usually involve something like a mana crypt mana vault that's going to give you an insane amount of mana turn one now we go on to what is probably the funniest and easily the most frustrating thing to do with an isochron scepter because honestly those turn one wins aren't going to come by very often so you might as well try to play with this in the easiest way that you can and to me that is using silence and you could also use orm's chant orm's chant is technically better and i'm going to explain why but silence making it to where someone's just not going to be able to play spells and you could do this every single turn against public enemy number one at the table hopefully until you become public enemy number one but doing this to what is probably going to be a combo deck of some sort is an easy way to shut them down they have to resort to attacking with creatures and chances are that's not going to do much for them orem's chant is technically better because you can pay additional costs like kicker you cannot pay alternate costs like overload which is why cyclonic rift might seem like a good idea but it just doesn't work you can't pay it it only really works for one permanent you can't overload it and then every single turn just board wipe your opponents it's not that good but kicker is a little bit different so for just that additional white mana you're able to make it to where they can attack you which is just insane so in addition to shutting them down with spells you're going to be able to keep them from attacking you which is why this is a very deadly combo especially if you want to throw this into a cube not just for commander but in commander it's a very deadly way if you just want to bully someone 
make sure that they get hated on, knock them out of a game. This is a very easy way to do it. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Not a super complicated card. Again, if you have any good instants that are CMC2 or less, this is likely going to be a good card to fool around with. But those are just some of the most noteworthy ones. As always, you guys let me know what you think about this video. You guys have a wonderful day. Void here signing off. See you all next video.